Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com and this video we're going to continue our series of looking at new builds of Windows 10. This is build 10130 uh, for PC, it's available to Windows Insiders and it's released on Friday evening and uh, there's a few visual changes to this. Microsoft seems to be focusing on the fit and finish of this now and getting this build um, with Windows 10 project cleaned up, finished, ready to go. So we'll have a look at some of the changes in this build and I've got to say before I, I um, recorded this video after installing this build I did a PC refresh to get it back to this clean state because um, the start menu wasn't working properly and uh, previously I'd gone through all the various upgrades so if you have that issue then that is a, a definite tip. Now also I'll uh, rotate this round into um, landscape mode because it fits better on the video but uh, this is the tablet that I usually use in portrait mode. So I have it, here we have it in uh, landscape mode and there are quite a few minor changes to this. So first thing you'll notice now is you've got the hamburger menu at the cross which was in the previous build, a little dot there showing that there's new apps ready to go um, and there's some customised settings for this as well. So when we go to there you can see the all apps list, uh, sorry, all apps list there at the bottom but this list here, this file explorer settings documents, is actually customizable. So let's find that setting. So here's the options for the start menu. You've got the option of using a full screen start menu when you're on the desktop or not. Uh, we're using it in tablet mode, so it's full screen. We'll take it out of tablet mode and have a quick look at that shortly. But like I said, you can customize the list. And here you can choose. So maybe I don't want file explorer or settings uh, or documents, but I do want music and I want. Uh, personal folder, whatever that is, put that on there, and yeah I'll have settings on there, okay so there we go, so when I go to this home, here you got settings, um, music and file explorer which is that personal folder, so that's that's new, also there's f um, jump lists on this build as well which I'll show you when we get into desktop mode, I don't think any of these are going to show it at the moment. So I'll show you the jump list, so we're going to take it out of tablet mode. And then if we press and hold, or you would right click on the folder, you get the jump list. So the same as it was in uh, Windows 8 and Windows 7, these sort of fast jump lists, and they will appear on here as well. And while we're in this mode, let's have a quick look at the icons have slightly changed, uh, they've been cleaned up. It's got match sets of these file icons and things like that have been improved. I don't know whether this is new or not, but uh, back into tablet mode now, and when you get the, the hamburger menu, you can just swipe up and it brings the all app list. So it kind of, I prefer if you could just swipe up from the bottom, but it's kind of uh, a faster way of getting it. Also, that. new in this is the back button. And this is in tablet mode now, so if I hit the back button, we should go to the last app that I was actually using, which is, is what it does, and that t toggles back through them. So I'm going to add those two. So let me open another one. So open another app, and then I can switch back. And if I say open um, that one, go back, it takes me back to that one, and back again. So that's quite handy for tablet users. Um, Spartan Browser has been uh, improved as well. This start menu never properly worked on the previous build. For me, now it does work. So we've got all the sort of shortcuts, and then you've got MSN News. But what's nice about this now on this build, if you open the favourites bar or the reading list, you can now pin it, which is something you couldn't do before. So you can leave that there and open up your your favourites. So another thing is this filter taskbar. For virtual desktops, uh, I'm back into uh, desktop mode, or taking out tablet mode for this. So you can have the taskbar only show windows that are open on this current desktop or across all of them. So um, if I flick desktop, you'll see that changes like that. So it's only showing the current one. And you can turn that on and off, which I think is a nice little feature. Bits and pieces I found the sound sound um, speaker icon that gives you now a new um, Windows 10 style UI. I 
Also, um, working correctly now in this build is uh, full screen video playback. Uh, for the video preview app, previously that didn't work correctly, but now it does. And that looks pretty good on there. And also, this now works, full screen video now works on um, Internet Explorer. So there's a full screen YouTube video, which previously that didn't work either. So there are a couple of things to watch, the mail app has some issues, Wi-Fi connectivity issues as well, but overall this is looking much better and a, a much more polished uh, user interface. So check out more of our videos on the digitallifestyle.com and our YouTube channel.